Good evening, chemist in Japan でございます。Um, I now finally have my, my video camera back, and、uh, so I can now demonstrate how my coffee maker works. And so I'm gonna set it up and take you through the whole process from beginning to end and show you how it works. It's pretty simple actually.、Um, It's all just basic physics. The brew portion, as you may recall from the last video. Now, um, the um, fritted filter there, as you can see, it's got some,、um, some brownness to it. I'm having variable success with, with this type of filter.、Uh, as I've discovered, I've been brewing a lot of coffee, drinking a lot of coffee too. Probably not the best thing, but、eh, what can you do?、Um, <clears throat> so, I'm trying various ways. Um, on dealing with this, grass, this glass fritted filter. And、um, like, it's, a work, it's a work in progress. You know, this was、um, a prototype. You know, we put it together and said, is it going to work? So this is, this is science in action right here. You know, this is the, this is the basic scientific,、uh, the scientific method. We,、um, I had a theory.、Um, and I built this, this design, based on observation of other, uh, of other uh, coffee pots. So,、um, you know, I didn't use any, any specially engineered plans for this. This is just all my, my own design here based on what I observed. So, it's a work in progress. And so, we're going to have to test it out and, and figure out a way to make things work permanently. So,、um, the thing I'm going to test、uh, today, which I have not tested for, before, so you're going to see this for the first time happen, is.、Um, They make these coffee filters. Like, this is, the, this is the Maxwell House ones. They make individual filter packs.、Um, I haven't opened it yet. Individual filter packs here, which have the coffee grounds inside of a,、um, a filtered package. Now, I, I, so, it looks like, so it looks like this the coffee is inside the pouch. And the goal here is that the grounds stay inside. Uh, the pack, and so I'm going to try that and see if that helps with the, the problems I've been having with the glass frit. So, we're going to try that out.、Um, and so, I guess the only thing left to do now is actually brew the coffee. All right, so I wanted to show you、um, the pre brew condition here. So, the water has been added here, and the top piece has been added, and the filter packs are now sitting、uh, down inside there.、Um, And hopefully, if all goes well, I'm going to apply heat and the water will heat here and then get pushed up into this. The water will be hot, it'll brew the coffee, and then when that's empty, it'll all get sucked back down into the bottom. So let's hope that's what happens, because if not, I'll be very embarrassed and sad at the same time. So let's see what happens.、And、the process actually happened very quickly.、Um, I don't know if you saw it or not, but the water. Quickly ran up the tube and it is now already collecting there. Do you, can you see the water level rising?、Uh, and that part right there? Alright,、um, the water is now in contact with the frit filter there and it has actually now penetrated the glass frit filter and is filling the top bulb now. Here on top, the, the water is warm, but it is not hot. Which is the whole point of this brewing method is that、um, the coffee is not subjected to、uh, scalding hot water,、um, at least scalding to the, to the coffee grounds. It's not subjected to boiling hot water. Hopefully, the water temperature in the top bulb should remain below boiling. Again, the ideal coffee brewing range is.、Um, Is 85 to 95 degrees C. 95 degrees C is just 5 degrees short of, of、um, boiling water temperature at、um, 760 Tor. You should be able to be see, see clearly now. Hopefully, you'll be able to see clearly now that、um, the, the thermals in the water. The water has moved upward. And if we take a look now, you can see that the color of the water here is starting to change. The water level is now right here, as you can see, and it is now starting to turn 
it's starting to brew the coffee as the the water the watercolor has changed to a, um, a brownish color and um, that is definitely more that is definitely warmer than before the water is definitely getting hot my cell phone is ringing if you can't hear it And the water level is definitely going up in the top bulb as more of the water is pressed out of, uh, more of the liquid water is pressed out of the bottom bulb. And you can definitely see that the, um, the, the color of the water is changing significantly, um, especially as the top bulb gets warmer and warmer. As you can see now, it's gotten warm enough to where even in the top bulb, bulb the water is uh, turning, some of the water is turning to vapor and is, um, condensed on the, uh, the side of the glass there. But the water up here is now is now quite warm. Very, very warm. And here in the bottom bulb, the water, there is not much left, so in a minute here it's going to start sucking, and at which point I will disengage the heat. Alright, the heat has been disengaged, and so it'll take some time for the bottom bulb to um, cool enough. Now in the, in the tube here, you can see water kind of bouncing up and down in the tube there. That's because the vapor in the bottom bulb is trying to escape upward, but as it escapes upward, some of it can cools and condenses back down and starts going down. And it kind of just repeats this process up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And as you can see, the coffee stays right there on the top bulb. And it will do so until uh, the element has cooled enough and uh, is no longer above 100 degrees C in the, in the bulb. There's no longer sufficient heat, and so the process is reversed. And you can see that that big bump at the bottom, at the at the end of the cycle, was some of the coffee. The, the co some of the water has been absorbed here by the coffee, so that water is not transferred back down. So there has to be there's a volume difference. You know, more water was pushed out than is being sucked back in, and therefore, once it gets to the end, and the frit is exposed to air, it immediately sucks air, and so now we have a fresh brewed pot of coffee. I have my nice festive Christmas cup here. It's the only coffee cup I have here at the house. I've taken all my other ones up to up to school, and uh, this is the only one I have here. And so now I'm gonna give her a try. Pretty good. I mean, it tastes like Maxwell House. Um, um, you know, I, I'm not a coffee snob, really, I suppose. I mean, I do like going and buying some expensive beans from time to time when I have the money, but... I grew up on Folgers from, with my grandmother. Maxwell House, too, with my other grandmother. So it's it's pretty good. I, I like it. I think um, that method may work. I'll have to, to t find out when I once I clean the pot. Um, I clean the brewer brewing part. See how the filter, uh, the glass fritted filter, turned out. But otherwise, it's uh, it's very tasty. It's a bit hot right now, um, but it's 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 very tasty, very good. I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed seeing me make coffee at home now. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas on design. Um, definitely open to ideas. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.